Hey guys, tell me what you think of my new light setup right here. I hope it improves my quality. I don't have that yellowish look anymore. And it's just clearer color and everything. But tell me what you think about it. The review should be up tomorrow. For today's stories, Apple is going to cause hell to all the other phone carriers in the world. And more information on Verizon's new data plan. Well, Apple Apple filed three and a half years ago a patent to patent its multi-touch on their phones, which now I would I would assume every single smartphone now has multi-touch on that on their phones. And now what this patent does now that Apple has been approved for this patent, that gives them the rights over pretty much to simplify it, that gives them the rights of multi-touch on a device, which can be spell bad news for all the other phone companies out there that since every single phone, Android, I don't think there's an Android device out, maybe one device, which is very old now, that uses the capacitive touchscreen versus a, no, it uses a transistive touchscreen versus a capacitive, like the iPhone. This won't affect me only because I'm, I'm moving to the dark side for you Android fans, I'm gonna, I'm hope to get an iPhone this September. I, I hope that might ha might not happen. My faithful Jordex is just it's getting too slow. It's just it's like if you want to compare it, Android is Windows and iOS obviously Apple. The thing with a Windows computer is you have to do a lot of maintenance to it and you just have to keep up with programs maintaining it. And with an Apple computer, I haven't had one in years, but my mom has one, and it's the same thing my sister does too. And it's that you don't have to do any maintenance with defrag or any of that stuff on a Mac, and it just stay, it stays snappy. Eventually, maybe after five years, it gets slow. That's just because the hardware is outdated for the new operating systems. Unlike Windows, you just have to defrag it constantly. You have to clear out cache and every all this other stuff. And that's kind of like Android versus Apple. The iPhone my friend has uses it just as much as I do, actually probably more than I do, because he has email syncing and everything else. Not only does it have a longer battery life, probably because it has a smaller screen more so, but it is super fast. My, the Droid X when I first got it was faster than his iPhone 4. The sad thing is now the Droid X is pathetically slow compared to his iPhone 4. The iPhone 4 hasn't slowed down one bit, Droid X. Even when overclocked to 200 megahertz faster, it's still it can, it's hardly even noticeably faster than mine. I leave at 800 megahertz. And there's no excuse to be slower even as 200 megahertz slower than stock. I can hardly get two days of battery life and all those other issues that I'm having with it. I can't even update it because I rooted, but that's my fault. But I rooted so I can underclock it to get better battery life. And that stuff, but it's just that's. I have my reasons to go into iOS, and I I hope I can get one. And I won't stop giving you Android news if I see it for my Android users, which probably most of you are, because considering most of my views are from my Android videos. But I also have iOS videos for those people, and I'll try and keep a mix in that stuff. Next story is Verizon keeping with the mobile phones. Verizon's it appears that this is even more information released about the tiered data plans that I announced the other day. That the new plans, uh, for, fortunately for existing Verizon customers, if you are grandfathered into your $30 a month unlimited, so called unlimited, it's truly 5 gigabytes, but I guess it was unlimited. I just, I don't understand how that works that they say you have a 5 gigabyte limit, but if you go over that 5 gigabytes, I've heard many people say they've gone over it and haven't been charged any extra, so I don't I don't understand where that's coming from, but they said we're grandfathered in as long as we've had one by up to, the, I think, it says the 7th of July is when it's supposed to be released the new plans, right? Fortunately, right before the new iPhone for any people that want to transfer over from AT&T to Verizon to get the iPhone 5, but it's good for me and any existing Verizon user, but it's bad for any new one. 
unfortunately. You're gonna, gonna have to pay extra. And one last tidbit, it's not really news, but it's a thing that might help you Android users. It's a thing I saw is 12 ways to like speed up things on your Android phone. Like the long press can sometimes take forever, or like when you're typing, like it, you, instead of having a type period, you can press the space bar twice and automatically add a period, like in iOS and that sort of thing. Just little tweaks you can do to your Android device without no root required, and just to help speed up certain tasks on your Android device. Device. Remember to like that video down below. Subscribe if you're not. Also check out my website. I'm been editing that recently. I'm trying to get it kind of set up, just spread out, and also I have a forum on there. I'm gonna. I'm soon to take off the moderator panel on my channel, and it's just gonna be straight the forum on my website. And I want you to ask me questions there. And so the my what little community I have right now can help each other in computer issues. And I would like that to grow to a much larger form one day and I will see if I can help your computer problems on that as well. You just have to sign up real quick. I think it's actually easy login. You can use your Facebook, Twitter account, Google account, I think already you can just log in with that info and automatically log in without actually having to sign up with I'm not sure what the form is. It's, I'm using Weebly to make a free website. And so you can just sign up there, comment in the form for ideas, questions you have me want me to answer on the video and that sort of stuff. So check out that for me and thanks for watching.